Hello everyone. Hi, this is Real Talk with G-Dub. Today we're going to have a very short discussion about hair um, as well. Please subscribe, please like my channel, and I appreciate it, and hit the notification bell. So today I said we were going to have a very short discussion about hair. We're having this discussion today again because it is a conversation that is needed and maybe to help some people understand. So I'm going to address an issue that I saw on Facebook with two young ladies who had their hair, two Caucasian young ladies who had their hair in braids and the caption stated that, why are you mad because we wear our hair in braids? We are not mad when you wear your hair straight or in weaves or you wear wigs that represent the Europeans. So I wanted to address that issue a little bit. Um, I'm going to address the history a little bit about it. Um, our hair um, is not just a fashion. It's not just um, about the style. And it was because we lost our ID due to slavery. Okay, and who we were as a people and as a nation was just taken and stolen from us. And also we were stolen from our land and our land was taken from us and our language and our food, clothing, etc. Our culture, our heritage was taken from us. So we were forced to adopt the European culture wearing the straight hair, um, the weaves and the wigs. We were forced to adopt that culture here in the United States, the United States. Uh, even today, our natural hair is not accepted. And we as people are still being today discriminated against because of our hair, such as um, celebrities. Um, they were stating that when they go for positions and go for auditions that they're not accepted if they wear their hair natural. Um, if we have been told that is unprofessional, that is unacceptable, um, you know, we're being discriminated against on all sides and business and in different institutions will not accept you if you wear your hair that was given to you by your creator at birth, your hair, which is who you are and who your makeup of who you are, we're melanin people. So our hair is different. Our hair is the only one thing that they didn't take and couldn't take because even when they would cut our hair and as enslaved, our ancestors' hair would cut, it still grew back. So that was one thing that they couldn't take from us. Our hair is natural because we are the natural people. Our hair is natural because we are the natural people. So we have natural hair and we wear it naturally. Our natural is natural. We are the only people on this planet with natural hair, with real hair. So when we wear our hair in the natural, it's because it's natural to us. That's our hair. That's the hair that the creator gave us. This is the hair that we were born and created with. It is not ugly. It is not unprofessional. Our hair is beautiful. Our hair is an antenna. Our hair is, is an antenna. It has a frequency. If you can remember um, in the book, in the Bible, there was a man, and I know most of you remember that know that have ever known anything about the Bible, read um, the book about um, Samson and Delilah. Correct. You got it already. What was his strength? What was the secret that he told her that caused him to lose his strength? The secret of his strength was his hair. So our hair is an antenna. It is a frequency to our creator. Okay. Our hair is not ugly. Our hair is beautiful. We are beautiful melanin people. And it is the hair that was given to us by our creator how dare anyone says that is unprofessional or that is ugly that is not natural it's not business like how dare anyone discriminate against our hair our hair is an antenna it is a frequency so the story about samson and delilah as i was saying he lost his strength when he told her the secret 
of his strength. Again, the secret of his strength was his hair. Why? Because his hair was an antenna. His hair was a frequency, okay, that went to the creator. The creator knew who he was. When his mother was pregnant with him, the creator told her, my father told him not, told her not to eat certain foods. Mostly it was a fruit and vegetable diet. Not to drink strong drinks. And in the book of Judges, I believe, Judges 7, in the book in the Bible, it says that Samson, when he was a baby, had seven locks in his hair. Not just Samson. We can also refer back to our Messiah. The Messiah, Hamashiach. He had hair as lamb's wool. I don't need to describe lamb's wool. We know what lamb's wool is. It's tense and it's tight and it's real curly and it has a wave pattern as our hair do. So because your hair is not accepted, never, never, never allow anyone to judge you on the basis of your hair. Our creator gave us this hair. It is not just a style with us. It is our heritage. It is our culture. It is who we are as melanin men and women. We are queens and princesses. So embrace your hair. It is beautiful. And I'm glad to see all of the young women of today wearing their hair in their natural styles. And when I was young, I wore my hair in what they called a bush. And it was the natural style. It was the natural style. It was what my hair was. Okay, and I'm glad today that there are new and improved ways that we are doing our hair. It is new and improved ways that, and, and we have the products now as well to do our hair and to manage our hair because our hair can be curly. We do have a curly pattern because our hair is flat while other people's hair is round. The molecules, the, the, um, their hair is round. Okay, so never be ashamed. Nobody else is ashamed of their hair. Nobody is ashamed of their hair. Don't you be a nation of people or a race of people and be ashamed of your hair that the creator gave you. Don't be ashamed of who you are, but know who you are. You are kings and you are queens and you are little princesses. You have beautiful brown melanin skin. You are beautiful. You were created beautiful. It is our heritage. It is our cultures. Your mother, your grandmothers, your great-grandmothers, your great-great-grandmothers, our ancestors, our descendants are proud that we're getting back to our culture, are proud that we're getting back to our heritage. And that is the real reason why people are talking about our hair now. Because they know who they are. You just may not know who you are. But they know who we are. They know that we are the natural people. Our DNA proves that time and time again, you can't deny it, is evidential proof that we were here first. So we are the natural people. So don't let anyone ever make you feel any type of way about your hair, that you're not pretty if you wear your hair in the natural form because you are pretty if you wear your hair in the natural form. Our descendants are proud of us today because we're going back to our heritage and to our culture. Know who you are and wear your crowns. And men, wear your mane because you're beautiful. You are beautiful as well. We have beautiful people in our nation and our race that are beautiful people. And we are the original people. Don't let nobody ever, ever, and I hope some of you let your children hear this as well that's going through school and that's being teased because their hair is different, because their hair is beautiful. People do that because they are inferior to you. There's no way you can treat people bad or hate people in that way if you're not inferior to them. So just know that and just believe and know who you are, that you are beautiful and you were wonderful and fearlessly made and your hair included. Your hair is an antenna. It is a frequency to your creator. Be blessed and of course, don't forget 
to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and also visit my website, which is zoominclosely.com. You be blessed today and always be assured that you are beautiful people. You are a beautiful nation. Be blessed. Bye-bye.